ladies. How are you all doing? Guys, you are like texting me and going like, come on, Penny, don't make me rush. <laughs> How am I gonna stay on my feminine energy if everyone is rushing me? <laughs> I'm joking. It's fine. <laughs> I'm glad that you guys are rushing me. Well, not glad that you're rushing me, but you know, it's nice. How you doing? Guys, if you can see me and if you can hear me okay, let me know in the comments. Say hello. Hi Penelope. Hey you Penny, you're my sister, girl. And Tara. Hi Tara. Misia and Tati. Hi. How you doing? I can see the comments very quickly today. And I can see like you can't sing green when people join in. It tells you Tati is joined. Tara is joined. It's nice. Hi all. How you doing? Tara, is it your day off today? You said that it was a good day for you today. Let me know how, how am I catching you? Are you guys just finishing work or are you off today? Today I'm a little bit earlier than other days. Hi Maria and Elke. Elke, is it Elke or Ilki? Say one or two. Elke, one, Ilki, two. Zero, you got it really wrong, Penny. You're murdering and butchering my name, Penny. Verses are good, Tara. Okay. I'm a darling. And Misia, also, I'm really sorry, maybe I'm saying your name completely wrong. Let me know if I've got your name wrong as well. I'm good. I'm good. I'm really good. I'm off. I have a, I have a week. I have two. I have nearly three weeks of work. So I'm gonna use them to work on Penny Love. And you know, I'm gonna finish a couple of courses. And uh, today I've been working on Shellen. I got all the rules, girls. I got all the rules for Shellen. New rules, because I actually thought that I did them last year, but I didn't. I think I did them for this group, and I thought I just copy them to the other group, but I forgot, or maybe I got interrupted or something happened, but in my head, I actually thought that they were there, that they had been done. It's one, Elke. I don't remember, what, what, what was one? <laughs> Elke, Elke. I don't remember what was one. I think it was LK. <laughs> Guys. Oh, it does take a while for the... Um, there is a, a little bit of delay. LK, you let me know. <laughs> My darling. <laughs> okay, so there's a, a few of us here. Um, oh, here we go. Lovely to hear and see you. Lovely to see you that you join us today, darling. Hi, Sophie and uh, Emerald Camille. I like to call you Camille. Emerald is hard for me, Camille. Is Camille your surname or is Camille your middle name? Let me know. LK, I got you right. You're smiling, so I must be saying it okay. So LK is like you would say in Spanish, like just as you read it of the thing. Hi, Beverly. Okay, so I thought we'd talk about a little bit about, we did a poll and there was a few subjects. I can't remember all of them, but uh, there was a, a by unanimous it was a profile let's talk about online dating profile the rulelessly ones of course and uh yes yeah, so i've uh, i've taken longer because i thought i'll take a few notes you know just uh just a couple of notes do some don'ts just to guess 
I probably will leave a lot of stuff out because I don't plan this stuff too much. I have taken a lot of notes just so that I, but I'll, I'll probably leave something really important out. And um, if I leave something out, let me know in the comments. Ask me questions as well. I'll answer all your questions relating to the video as well. So hopefully we got a nice idea of what's going on. Let me scroll a little. Camille is your true name. Ah, I got it right. Elke, same in German. Not that Spanish is like a German at all, but I think <laughs> it's uh, closer than in English. I love my darling. Right, so um, there was a couple of, um, the idea of uh, talking about profiles is because I was uh, a couple of uh, ladies talking about profiles and uh, I was seeing so many things wrong and on the rules actually explains how to create a profile and um, what's good and what's not. And there was, I was seeing girls, they were using a lot of what's not good at all. So, hi, Lynn. Lynn, do you know I was looking for you because I, I, I wanted to send something to you, but uh, it said that your, your profile was deleted. So I didn't know if you were upset and um, everybody sent love, lots of lots of love and kisses to Lynn because she needs us. And um, yes, I don't even remember what the hell I wanted to send you, but I saw something and I was like, oh, this will link. And then your profile was like shut down. I couldn't send it to you, love. Don't shut your profile down. Don't shut us out. We love you, honey. Hi, Brownies. Okay, so uh, yes, so I was seeing a lot of um, stuff. And uh, that it was like, this is really wrong. So let's just talk about it. Let's clear out, you know. I don't know, like, guys, you, you read the rules. You know what to do. You know what not to do. It's there in the books. And it's like super easy, you know, the, the rule says. Make it very short. Make it like you just did it in five minutes on your little lunch time. You know, like you didn't put any thought at all into it. Okay, so if you make it really long and very elaborate, then it looks like you've, you know, you want this too much, you're trying too hard, you've thought about it too much, or you spend too long on it. And um, so you want to make it as short and, you know, as casual. Casual sounds wrong, but yes, casual, like, oh, you didn't even, you just, Rock whatever came first to your head, you know, and this awesome, and there you go, perfect, awesome profile. Okay, so and you want to keep it as possible, as possible, as positive as possible. Okay, you want to make it super, super, super positive, highlight everything that is great and marvelous and beautiful and gorgeous and fantastic and positive about you and don't ever mention anything negative or any ne any perceived negativities anything negative about you just forget it you know like don't write like oh you know i'm 300 pounds but i'm working on uh losing some weight no <laughs> You have your 300 pounds and you are awesome, okay? So if you're not happy being 300 pounds, don't mention that you are 300 pounds. That's it. You know, you need to mention, you don't need to justify yourself, you need to explain anything to anyone, not to men, but to anyone, ever. You need to leave uh, as uh, you're on the train. Ah, danke schön. I'll see you later. Maybe, you know what, you're going to get home and I'm still going to be here. <laughs> and anyway, you can watch the replay, darling. It's fine. Okay. So, yes. So, if there is anything that is bothering you about yourself, like maybe you are, you don't have a job. You don't have a job or you are not in a great job or you are in between jobs 
or just got fired from your job or um, you have a less than desirable job or you feel like oh, I hated my job like I thought my job was so masculine you know so and you know I thought it put men off and uh, I, my job was emasculating <laughs> to men so I always have an issue with my own job and so it's just sometimes it's awkward so don't mention it just leave it out and don't mention it on the date if they ask you what do you do you're like oh, um, whatever and don't don't dwell on it you just go like straight straight away you go like what about you and then you just become very interested in his own job so that he doesn't ask you anything about yours and um yeah but the most important thing is that you are working towards the job that you want to be on don't just stay if you don't like your job don't stay there get out move oh like get on courses so that you can get promoted like do some self-improvement so that you can get out and do the job that you really want to do something that you feel you know proud and great and make a lot of money <laughs> so you can buy a lot of lipsticks oh my god guys i'm obsessed with charlotte tilbury but it's so bloody expensive it's 30 pounds for the bloody lipstick come on but my god i want to get there i want to be able to just spend the money that i spell on Rimmel london <laughs> i want to spend the way that i buy lipsticks from Rimmel london i want to buy charlotte tilbury i'm obsessed with the lipsticks anyway Yes, so, you know, do a job that affords you the nice, pretty, beautiful things that you love and deserve. And um, what else? Anything negative, leave it out. So, and don't say things like, um, I work hard, play hard. Somebody said that, um, some, somebody's profile, I can't remember who. Don't ever say, I work hard, play hard. That's like, when you're swiping and that you look at the guy's profiles, that's what guys do. That's what guys say. So you can't copy your profile from guys' profiles. You can't say the same things that guys say. That's so masculine. I play hard. <laughs> I play hard. I work hard. You know, no, we don't play hard. We don't work hard. We are light and breezy. We are easy to be with. We are like, breath of fresh air you know what hot us no everything just comes magical to us isn't it we just like click our fingers and everything just comes to us this is the kind of illusion you want to give of course it's not you know we work just as hard as anybody else <laughs> one of us go you know you don't want it to become a competition i work harder than you if you put i work hard he's just gonna go well i work harder <laughs> you don't want it to become a competition. That's how I do it. What what is it? That's how you do what? You need to explain because <laughs> Maria, that's how you do what? Explain. <laughs> what about what about if you are full time mummy? Sweetie, if you are a full time mummy, that is beautiful. That is fine. If you're a full time mummy, it's fine. And you shouldn't be ashamed of it, you know. Just, hmm, let me think about that. I haven't had any full time mummies. Um, well, let me think about that. I've not had any full time mummies. Have I created any profiles? Let me think about that one second. And um, okay, so yeah, no work hard, play hard. We don't do anything hard. The work, the word play, out. The word work, out. And the word hard, out. Out. <laughs> I want to see it on your profile. And uh, somebody said, driven. No, you're not driven. <laughs> this is like, this is not a job interview. You know, you're not driven. You are light and breezy, you know. You're you're fun, but you don't say fun. That's my next one. Fun. You don't say fun because 
a guy will see the word fun and think, hmm, fun. You don't, you don't want his brain, you don't want his mind to go there. Stay away from there. Don't use fun. So you can explain what do you do for fun. What do you do? And use words, I enjoy, I love to do this, I enjoy going to whatever. Okay, but avoid saying fun or I am fun. You don't want him to go there thinking how fun you are. Okay. I don't mention what I do on my profile because you want to be a housewife. That's fine, you know. And um, if you want to give that impression, that's fine. And um, I'm going to come up with a good one for full-time mummies. I'm going to come up with a come up with a good one. And uh, what else? Uh, us, us. This girl. Who was this girl, guys? Remind me. Who is this girl? She needs to watch this video. Um, I believe in finding time for fun. So you explain this to him when he slaps your profile on your face on day six and he wants to see you Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday. <laughs> you explain to him that you really enjoy finding time for fun when he wants to see you every day of the week. So you have to give the impression that you are a busy girl with a full life and that you are not here swiping desperately trying to find someone to fill your time with and that you know what it might not be true when you really be, when you become a rules girl on week one week two week three month three but it will be true by month six if you really 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 do the rules it will not be a lie anymore. You will not be making it up. You will be busy. You will be taking care of yourself. You will be take, you know, using your time for self-improvement. You will be, you know, up to your eyes in uh, hair appointments and manicures and meeting people and networking and uh, looking for a better job and, you know, going on dates, amazing dates. You know, you have a rotation, you will be busy. You know, you're probably going for a job promotion, you know, because when you do the rules, you find that you are worth this and, 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 and all of it. You can have it all. And so you go for it and you do it. You know, you're not afraid anymore. You're not a, um, what you call it, um, plain Jane anymore. You are. You are working hard and playing hard. We're just not going to say. We're not going to talk about it. Okay. You don't want guys to see. You don't want guys to see you just for fun. You want them to see you and take you seriously as a, a you know, they want, yeah, then they are not swiping looking for a wife. They're just swiping looking for someone, you know, someone that they, you know, that they, they like looking at. They just, men are visual, so they're just looking at the pictures. And uh, if, if your pictures stop him on his tracks, then they'll look at your profile. And if your profile is all nice and lively and positive, and uh, it sounds super light and breezy, they'll go, oh, she sounds nice. But if your profile is like, and I don't do short guys, and I don't do, do this, and I am uh, allergic to, so don't take me to seafood restaurants, and it's all full of negativity, they're gonna go, oh gosh, maybe not. <laughs> or maybe they'll come, you know, they, they'll come and they'll, they'll date you just to um, go to bed with you, so they can have another, not on their belt, and that's it, you know, another conquest, they'll just treat you as another conquest. Hi, Liana! Liana, don't tell me, of, Liana told me don't keep this dress, because it didn't look best, but look on the video, it looks great! <laughs> I haven't left the house! 
<laughs> I thought I'll wear it for the video. It's a beautiful dress, but it just doesn't look great on me. But here, it looks fine. Just down here, does it look very good? <laughs> um, what else? So yes, so you want it to be a positive, a highlight the best things about you. And, uh, and one thing that I do for uh, my girls, so you remember like on the rules for online dating, on the, on the book, the rules for online dating, it says um, when you are creating your, your email address, you know, remember when <laughs> you used to go in chat rooms with men and you exchange email addresses. So you had to create a rules email address. We don't have to do that anymore because we just chat on text. But uh, back in the day, you had to create an a email address. So you had to create a rulesly email address. Um, so like uh, examples were like legally blonde or like, you know, all these names. And, and still you use the same rule for um, plenty of fish and match. I think much. Um, yeah, they're old fashioned um, online before there were apps and there were like websites. The old fashioned, they still use this. So you have to have a online screen name. So you use the same rule. So you can use that rule on Tinder. So for example, brown eyes. So we have a girl that's called brown eyes. So you can say, um, oh, hi, I'm Tenny. I'm a Spanish, uh, so that's another, another, another thing. I'm a Spanish uh, brunette with brown eyes. So if the guy is very into brunettes, brunettes and brown eyes and all that, so you actually write in it. So it might be obvious because your picture is a brunette with brown eyes. Um, but um, even though it's obvious, you're giving him an extra visual aid and you are confirming that what they see is what they like so they go yeah Renette. you know <laughs> because that's what they like so like if you are like um, a petite blonde so you start your advantage and write oh hi i am uh, maria i'm a petite blonde da, 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 da. So you just do it like an extra visual aid and that somebody was doing it on the group and I was like, this is so clever. I actually do it for my girl that. So it's, it's a nice way to open your profile. And uh, another thing to add, it's uh, great to add, is uh, your location. That don't say like, oh, hi, Penny from London. No, London, London is so big. You know, there's 8 million people. I was Googling the other day, there's like 8 million people in London. Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's just crazy. You, you can't just say London or North London or Northwest London. The guy has to come all the way to your neighborhood. So you <laughs> subliminally <laughs> already are preparing him for the, for the trip he needs to take if he wants to date you. So I live in Collingdale, so not the borough, like the air, the neighborhood. So I say, oh, hi, I'm Penny. I live in Collingdale. So right to the neighborhood, to the train station, and he needs to travel to, to come all the way here to date me, okay? So you do the same. If you live in X, if you live in X neighborhood, you start to your advantage, even if it's very far away. So the better he knows, just, just you know the better you don't want to have a back and forth back and forth back and forth for a guy that is not prepared to come to you and it's not the first one is she, she might he might go oh she's too far and next you so saves you all the trouble you know the sooner he next you because you're not whatever he's looking for the better it's less work for you so let him know where you are to the you know don't let him know the street don't give him your postcode your address but like for example, like they, I give them Collingdale is my actual train stop that he needs to get off to come and date me. So I give him that. I say I live in Collingdale. Where are the oh Beverly? Oh, you're laughing. I don't know what you're laughing about. The top part is nice. Thank you, Liana. Do I have your blessing? Well, I'll probably take it back after this. But I um. 
I don't know, I put perfume on it, so maybe I can't take it back. <laughs> Beverly, I have spoken before about the difficulties about pleated skirts. You know, they look very beautiful on the ladies, on the pictures, <laughs> they look great on me. You know, I do, I have, you know, I'm an apple-shaped lady, so I have a belly, you know, my belly is my least favorite bit. Um, but I need to get good name and good name for mine. Any famous, uh, any famous movie stars that I look like? <gasps> Let's all think about a famous movie star for Amber. Why does it have to be a famous movie star? Why Amber? I don't get that. I experimented with um, Aphrodite blonde <gasps> from the Greek thing. I like that. But I know you're Greek, though. My guys won't know that you're Greek. But it does sound goddessy, so I think it's nice. Aphrodite, Aphrodite blonde. I like that. It sounds goddessy. They don't need to know that you're Greek. Then when they 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 realize that you're Greek, they'll go, "Oh, that's why." Tall Brazilian lady. You can say, Maria. You can say Brazilian beauty. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Brazilian beauty. You can say, that sounds so sexy, Brazilian beauty. And Susie, is it okay to use my first name? Yes, darling, on Tinder, you use your first name. Do not lie on your name on Tinder. So do not lie. And for example, uh, like for, uh, I used to have a lady, I don't want to say much without giving who's who away. So I had a lady that had a business, so her name was the business. And um, she was not local to the country, so her name was not, you know, Jane, Catherine, you know, she had a nice special name. So um, we had to change the name um artistically so that it wasn't a lie so that when guys googled her they wouldn't find her straight away because her name was her name is like you know my, my business is penny love i gotta say guys and penny you know they're gonna find me so quickly so and i'm you know i say i say oh hi i'm penny and i'm a life coach Do you know they're gonna find me so quickly so like for example i'll say uh, i'm penelope Hello, I'm Penelope. Do you know, like you just make it harder for them to find you. Or like if your business is Penelope, then um, have your screen name as Penny. Uh, and for example, um, Susie. So for example, if your name is Susie and, and, your, and your Facebook is Susie and um, yeah, everything is Susie, then you can, you can call your name you can call yourself on Tinder Susanna. So it's not lying, nobody calls you Susanna, but you can use Susanna, or you can change the spelling on Tinder. So just so that when they Googled you, it doesn't come up like crazy. Um, I have a, girl, I have a, a, a girlfriend in uh, Australia. I'm gonna say her name, because she's not my client, she's my girlfriend. Um, Oh, hang on a minute, I've forgotten. <laughs> I've gone blank because I'm looking at all of you guys' names. I'll tell you in a second when it comes to me. Catchy, something catchy, you're Irish. You can, you can use that to your advantage, the Irish bit, Amber. I look like Shakira with my curly hair, but I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say in that be cheesy. Oh, guys, where are you getting that uh, it has to be the, a famous somebody's name on your profile? I mean, yes, you can use a famous, but if it's something very obvious, if you have to think about it, then that's not the right thing to do on your on your profile. Emma, bloody hell, my friend is uh, Emma. So she was like, Emma from Sydney. And, um, and she was like, oh my God. Um, this guy found me. He's a stalker. 
and I just I, I went on Google and I wrote um, she she uh, worked in a hospital so and she will reveal this information so I went uh, Emma from such a hospital Sydney and it was like the first uh, option on the top you don't need to be a stalker everybody's gonna Google you you know so be smart Google yourself see what comes up um brown eyes men like cheesy men it's true it's true liana men like cheesy they don't mind it especially in the privacy of the tinder situation they probably they're not going to declare oh i love cheesy stuff to the world or his mates but on the privacy of the online world he likes cheesy <laughs> Me the same, Tara Amber. If I were you, I'll play with your strawberry blonde hair. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that, Tara. That's really good. Hi, Mia. Susie. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Hola. Hola, guapo. Uh, and Andy. Hi, Andy. Amy. Amy, Amy, I have a lady from San Francisco that says that she can't find um, good guys in San Francisco. Is, uh, is it good? Is this okay? Is it okay if I get her in touch with you? Just a rules girl. Let me know if you're up for a new girlfriend. I said to her, you had to meet Amy. She meets all the guys. Tara, brown eye girl. Do you know what? I'm brown eye girl too. Oh my. Where am I, brown eye girl? On match, I'm brown eye girl. Oh, and now I'm on puff as well. On plenty of fish, I'm brown eye girl too. Do you guys, do you know when I first read the rules? <laughs> you gotta, you gotta laugh. When I first read the rules, I just um, finished with my boyfriend <laughs> and um, and I actually did exactly what the rule says, you know, I wrote my profile crying <laughs> with a glass of wine. <laughs> I was like, ooh, how dare you dump it, I wrote, I wrote just like Ellen and Sherry say on the rules book, just like, don't dwell on it, go on <laughs> Okay, yourself an online profile. So I follow exactly to the T and I went on plenty of fish and I gave myself the name of Spanish Armada. It took me a year to realize that my name was like ridiculously negative because <laughs> the Spanish Armada actually didn't do very well at all. Plus, it's like so militant, it was so masculine. No wonder nobody talked to me. <laughs> I'm plenty of fish. So girls, be careful. <laughs> be careful what you do online. <laughs> I make myself laugh, but it's so ridiculous. <laughs> the stuff we do, right? <laughs> And I'm so glad I can laugh at this because nobody ever knew my mistake. Nobody called me on it. I actually realized it myself. <laughs> so I was very proud. <laughs> One day I'm looking at my own line name and I was like, what, what the hell? <laughs> it's funny, Sherman. I don't wonder nobody wants to talk to you. You scary guys. <laughs> the thing you're going to sink them. It's just so bad, isn't it? But, you know, sometimes you might think that a name is fantastic. <laughs> I thought it was brilliant. I thought I was like, I weeded, you know, everyone with my online name. But, oh, my God, it was so bad. And super masculine. And with so many negative connotations, too. Oh, so silly. I think I have something more simple in the end, like glamorous blonde. Allah, 
And do you know what, Liana, like your guy, he loves that you are so glamorous. I think he loves it. So, you know, he, you attract it, what, what, uh, you know, you, like he really loves the, all the glamour. He loves that um, she make herself up and uh, she lo he loves her. He, she's so feminine. So the name attracts the right thing. So you can use this uh, name very, you know, in a very clever way. But not only for the old fashioned websites, you can also use it on Tinder and um, Happen and all the other apps. Let's see. You don't have a match. You know, match is not that great. If you have it, great. Um, I recommend match to women in the Midwest. If you live in a little village in the middle of nowhere, go to match eHarmony, the paid um yeah, if you live in an old fashioned area, um, go for the old fashioned websites, not the apps, because you know, the guys looking for a wife, they might think, oh, Tinder is just for hookups. But only in the old fashioned areas. If you live in a more um, modern area, if you live in the big city, like San Francisco, uh, New York, Chicago, uh, London, Paris, don't worry about the, you know, match and eHarmony and all of that. It's, you know, stick to Tinder, happen, and plenty of fish, and you're good to go. Don't, uh, you would die if you knew what I put on my first profile of the rules. I, you know, if that, is it worse than mine, Lee? <laughs> Tara, okay Cupid. I like I used to hate okay Cupid and now I love it since they change it up. And that you can use your name now on okay Cupid. You don't have to have a um weird name. You can have your name and um and also you can pay. So all the money that you are spending on eHarmony match like you put it on Tinder Gold, pay the thingy to um what is it called on happen the upgrade on happen is good too and on plenty of fish and, and on okay cupid as well i paid on that i don't like i wouldn't use okay cupid as my first one but if you, if you can if you, after you do all the others you can still afford it do okay cupid all them um when i became a coach i paid extra and i upgraded all my apps you know to get the, most of my game and then, so i discovered all these uh, great upgrades and i was like oh my god they're really great the only upgrade that i don't recommend is plenty of fish if you're a guy well, there's no guys here but obviously if you were guys it, it's fantastic to have the upgrade on plenty of fish but for girls this is not neat lovely hair Denny. thank you do you know what i've done with the thick barrel because I don't want, I didn't want to have curls. I just wanted to have waves, but the big barrel is just, it just leaves it too limp for me. After five minutes, it just, there is nothing left. It just looks like I just, probably like I did a straight iron or something. There's not much left. But with the other one, it just goes too curly. I just wanted to have a bit of bounce. Thank you anyway. Liana, I met Mark on Match and I literally got barely any messages on it though. It was really slow. Uh, Liana, do you think like, cause you're, you're not from London, you are from Liverpool, with, from Liverpool, which was a big city, but Mark was not from Liverpool. He was from the middle of the sticks, wasn't he? So I think my theory is right. He was from the middle of nowhere. So he's looking at a respectable wife, old fashioned guy. So he goes to look on match, eat harmony. What do you think? <clears throat> Amber, do I install Tinder on my. Oh, you're asking Tara? Okay, no, that's me. <laughs> Tara! Do you know Tara and I? We okay, started on the 
No, actually, I came after. Tara was in the groups before me. Tara taught me a lot, actually, group wise. I have a lot to be grateful to that girl. Thank you, Tara. She looked after me when I was a newbie. All my stupid questions, she swallowed them all. She helped me. She was very nice to me always. That she told me off as well. Because <laughs> I was dumb. But she was nice. Do I install Tinder on my phone and pay for the Tinder? Yes, honey. In Amber, you need to have Tinder on your phone. And you, I really, really, you don't have two girls, but I really recommend that you upgrade to Tinder Gold. And if, you, uh, if you're going to have one app, only one app is somebody was telling me, oh, I'm feeling really overwhelmed. And um, oh, hey. I'm feeling really overwhelmed with all these apps. If you're feeling overwhelmed, delete all the apps. Leave one. And if you have to have one, keep Tinder and make it gold, Tinder gold. And then when you get the hang of it, add on another one, add on another one. I didn't go full on 12 apps. I started, I started I started with two or three, then I started adding, then it got too much, then I started to take off, you know, then sometimes you are busier with life, sometimes you are, you got more time, so you can, you don't have to stick to it and just like do 12 apps forever, just, you know, use common sense, you know, if you are less busy, you have more time to swipe and more time for messages get on more apps if you are too busy just delete the ones that are not doing great for you um tinder is an app and you download it on your phone yes and now i haven't done it because i'm never at home but you can also do it on your on your laptop as well tinder <clears throat> i have a client that she <laughs> she swipes in the office so she actually asked in there on a computer at work. She's like, oh, no, hello, hello. And she's like swapping <laughs> as she answers the phone to her clients. Tinder Gold is the best. Yes, it is. Just its words. Pre rules are something like, I'm, the, I'm not the outdoorsy type. So don't bother getting in touch with me if you want me to hike up a mountain. <laughs> oh my God, how funny is this? Because your guy loves going up the mountain, doesn't he? He goes up with the bike. And um, so, you know, he, does, he didn't want a bike mate, did he? He wanted a nice girl, beautiful, glamorous girl. And he can go biking with his mates. Guys, you know, guys don't want to marry. They want a woman to look like a woman and do woman stuff. They don't want, they don't, you know, they, if they want to do, um, make the things, they can go out with their mates. Because also, imagine, like, if, if you're a runner, I have a client that said that she ran marathons and this guy started dating her and he started to kill himself going on runs. <laughs> he wanted to do triathlon, so she did marathons. So he obviously, he gets all competitive with this stuff and he never was very much into running, but he, he felt like to match up with her, she had to outdo her. So he started to run triathlon. So every time they went on date, this guy was absolutely naked. <laughs> Because he has to go do triathlons. They don't want to compete with you. Don't say anything competitive. Say you like jogging, but don't like don't say, oh, I run marathons. Because he will feel like he needs to compete with you. Uh, Mark went on match because he thought he was more respectable. Yeah, old fashioned guys. And uh Yes, I used to call Tara when I used to burn my food. Is that how do I fix it? <laughs> my car is sticky. Tara, help me. I put too much flour. <laughs> what was I cooking that day? It was really disgusting at the air. I, I don't know what I did. But you saved it. I think I put too much something thickening, whatever. It was just couldn't get the right consistency. Uh, thank you, darling. 
Tara is a chef, guys. So if you need any cooking advice, she's a really, 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 really good chef. Uh, my profile seems to be okay. Nothing to be changed. Excellent, excellent. Ah, ah. For once, I'm able to watch live with everyone. Hi, Michelle! You weren't here before? I thought you were here with me. Much is quite expensive. It is expensive. And um, yes, unless you are like right in the middle of the sticks, don't bother with much. My dear, you are in Tinder Gold, but you are, Maria, where, you are in Amsterdam, right? So you are in a big city. And Amsterdam people are very modern. They're not very conservative or anything like that. So I think you are okay. Just in the gold is, is fine. Do we put our real names on Tinder? Yes, put Amber. Are there lots of Ambers where you are from? I don't know many Ambers myself. Do you have a middle name, Amber? So that, for example, if your name is Amber Rose, um, everywhere else you're Amber. And uh, so like if you work a lot in your community, your name might be up on the web a lot or like for work or whatever. So your name is Amber Mahafi. So use your middle name. So if your middle name is Amber Rose, use Rose. So you're not technically lying on tinder because this is this is why okay then i didn't say why you don't lie with your name because imagine you go on dates you don't want the guy to lie to you how would you feel like if you go out with a with a john you you, you say john on, on on the tinder thingy when you get there his name is peter or you know whatever or he's got a really horrible name you're gonna feel like oh you know you're lying to me where else are you lying me on so guys are gonna think the same thing if you lie on your name he's gonna think the worst even if it's very innocent even if you have a million of fantastic excuses to lie on your name he's gonna feel like what else is she lying to me about so don't don't do it you know and also don't lie on your age don't do it because you're gonna have to say to him oh i lied and imagine if you get married he's gonna see your birth certificate because that's what you take to get married and you don't want him to find out <laughs> the day that you take the marriage certificate to the registrar <laughs> to the registrar to find out that you're a liar He's gonna think the worst stuff about you. He's like, what else are you lying to me for? Do you have like a hidden son that I am not aware about? You know, do you have like lots of debt? He's gonna, just before the wedding, you don't wanna give him any excuses because men get cold feet very quickly. Even if they love you a lot. I am not from Amsterdam, I'm from a small town, but Maria, but the, in, in, um, in the Netherlands, is it the Netherlands, it's, it's, they're quite modern people, right? They're not um, old fashioned, small minded kind of people. I always think about the Netherlands people like very modern. <clears throat> It's smart, uh, Michelle says smart, use middle name. Yeah, middle name is great. Amber Ray. Ray Amber Ray, is that your full name, Amber Ray? Ray, is that a middle name, Ray? I'm not seeing that. Someone's playing this to me. What is this thing, is that American thing? Your small town near Belgium. Melissa's joined. Hi, Melissa. And hey, hi, Ayn. Nisia says, the man who I met used the middle name. So the men do the same. Yeah, everybody's trying to protect their privacy. You know, it's not about thin, but 
it's just when you meet someone and you are we are so judgy aren't we you're there trying to work this person out and suddenly I, I went on a date with this guy and uh to you know like 20 minutes into the date he said to me oh actually uh, i lied on my profile i am not uh 46 i am 52 but I don't feel I, I look like 52, so I gave myself 46, which is more, uh, you know, what I look like. And I thought, no, that's not because that's, that's not why you've done it. It's because you wanted to date the 30-year-old girls, and the 30-year-old girls are not swiping on 50-something-year-old guys. That's why you gave yourself younger. And also, it's just like, you know, I was just looking for an excuse to get out of there. Really, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> it was the perfect excuse. I didn't like to be lied to. He would, you know, it's like guys. They will go with the thing that um, they're not so vain. Like uh, they, they don't care about this uh, superficial stuff. But they're just as insecure as we are. I thought it was. It just made him look really insecure and I also thought myself like what else are you lying to because you know it doesn't suit you so it's just not great you want to give the best impression you know oh hello by the way I lied to you is not a very good way <laughs> to give to um to give a good impression my middle name is Isabel something like pretty Isabel no sweetie you are from and you are from uh, the Dominican Republic so you have to use that to your advantage um, I think this is an advice that I learned from the sugar baby groups that men if they, 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 they if they like a type so like if they like the Spanish type use that to your advantage and mention it on your profile that you are Spanish you know and you will attract guys that actually like Spanish girls and you are from the Dominican Republic, so you start to your advantage, and you know, so you will attract guys that they are really into Dominican girls, you know, like it's the thing. <clears throat> Use that to to your advantage if you are exotic, and as somebody said, uh, are you? I actually. And name my race because I'm a mixture of races, you know, so I look very exotic. Use that to your advantage, guys. Like exotic girls are gonna go for exotic girls, you know. And if you can slip it in there in your profile, more points to you. Haha, <laughs> yes, uh, Maria says it's quite modern. Yes, I knew that. <laughs> And in the big cities, but very traditional, religious in some part of the, the, the Netherlands. So, um, so do you know what? So do think, do you know what other uh, app you can do? Happen, happen. It's a French app, so I'm sure it's used in all of Europe. Happen is a good one, so you can get the guys traveling pass. So not only, so you don't have to date only the guys from your surrounding area, get the guys that drive past as well. And also if you go into the city, get happen. It's, it's good for, um, it's, it's based on location. So you actually have to cross paths with the person. I like happen. Can you hide? Yes, you can hide your age. I try hiding my age. Oh God, I've done it all right now. I wanted to do a test for an older client that I have, so I did it myself. So right, so what I did is I hid my age. Then I went on Facebook and I changed my age to I am a 30 something so that I would catch the 30, do you know the youngest? So I am in my 40s. So the 40s guys are not swiping on me. The 50 something guys are swiping on me. So that I would catch on the 40 something guys. I gave myself 30 something so that all the 40 somethings will swipe on me. Right? And uh, so you're not lying <laughs> because you are hiding your age. But then I didn't get many matches because the first thing they noticed, you know, when they swipe, 
is always name, age, job, school. So when they swap, and the age is quite fat on Tinder, so your name and your age is quite bold, fat letters, right? So they swipe, and they see penny, no age. So it's something missing, something odd. It's like incomplete. It doesn't give a good vibe. Like, where are you trying to hide? So I think that probably made me look even older. So I changed <laughs> to wait, I don't know how long, I had to wait six months or whatever. And, um, and I changed it all back. So now I'm, you know, I'm my real age and it's showing. But um, yes, so because I've done it and it didn't work, I don't recommend it to you guys do it. I think it just look really weird when you swipe. So, and because we are not swiping, only guys that swipe are gonna um, click on us. So it's very important that you don't look. You wanna stand out, but you wanna stand out for the right reasons and don't stand out for the wrong reasons. Yes, you can be, guys can be very insecure. <laughs> have you met a short guy? Yes, they have the they're short guys <laughs> but some guys you know my I have a Spanish girlfriend she lives in Spain and uh, she's she's not tall she's actually taller than me <laughs> so very hard. I'm only five foot three five foot I'm five foot two and a bit not quite five foot three and uh, she's just taller than me not very tall but uh, her guy is a bit shorter than me and uh, he's like really strong kind of guy and uh, but he, his guy is super successful super alpha super masculine super confident because he was very good at football when he was little like i know him very well because uh, his aunt lived uh, right opposite me so and uh and uh is he lived in the building behind me and uh between his building and my building there was like a, a little square and all the kids used to go play in this square so i used to go playing with him and he was very 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 little always but he was very 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 good at football and he used to uh, score all the goals he was so loved by all the guys he was so confident the fact that he was short he never play any negative part in his life like i don't think be, because he, he had a really big personality he was really funny he's the kind of guy he likes to go out a lot and couple of drinks and good food and he's always out meeting everyone and that he does very well for a living and that uh, you know even though he is very short He's not ugly either. I wouldn't say wow, he's like stupid good looking. He's not ugly, he's short, but he had amazing personality and he was very confident because he was very good at football and he grew up playing football and he still does. He's he's older than me, so he, he's probably 48 now and he still plays football. And uh he's, he's just some sometimes other things can give you confidence you know for men it's not how you look it's uh what you do they things that make like sports make them feel so good that's why they all want to play sports and watch sports susie african queen mm -hmm. i like that susie i like that and even if you even if you fancy white guys it plays to your advantage because you will attract guys that like african looking girls you know so you want to use that to your advantage should we add your nationality if you are like me i'm in london so if you are american and you are in america don't need to but if you are nisia where are you from so like you're like me, I'm Spanish living in London. I use in my profile, a Spanish girl living in London. Do you know, because I want to attract a guy that loves 
everything about the Spanish girl. Do you know, I used to be really hung up on guys. If I, I went on a date and they used to mention something about um, being Spanish, me being Spanish, I used to get spooked like, oh, do you know, they, okay, I'll tell you why. That I used to be married and my guy, my, my, my husband, oh, he was obsessed just with the fact that I was Spanish. He actually said to me that he dreamed about marrying a Spanish girl when he was a, a little boy and living in Spain and everything. But I am in London and I love London. And when I met my, my husband, I, do you know, the last thing in my mind was going back to Spain. And when we were married, this was a, a big thing. Like we used to argue a lot because my mother used to, my mother clock on this that he wants to live in Spain. So he used he, that to manipulate us to go back to Spain. So this was the big, my mother is the big manipulator. So this was a big um, thing for us we used to fight about. So when I started dating after my husband and the guy said, I love Spanish girls, I used to go, right, that's it. No. I'm, you know, I'm not dating you anymore because he's going to grab me and he want me to move and we're going to have the same fights again. And, you know, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a passport. And I used to, I think I once said to a guy, right, you know, if you like Spain so much, why don't you just bloody move there? You know, like, I, it used to be like so upsetting for me, but uh, now I've learned better. If you are Spanish or you are, um, whatever country that is not the country that you're on use it to your advantage because you know guys will like it and then if he wants to move to your uh, country then you can find out before you marry him <laughs> during the dating process <laughs> and if you have a manipulating mother keep her out <laughs> of your relationship <laughs> Uh, how did you change your age on Tinder? You can't change your age on Tinder. You have to change your age on Facebook to do it. But I don't know if you heard me. Do not do it. I don't recommend it. It's not going to work for you. Because if you leave it showing, then you're lying and you're in trouble. And if you hide it, then you're hiding something and you're in trouble. So there's no point of hiding it. Block your age. As I said, I think because I'm reading the old comments, we went over this. I don't recommend it. Susie, I'm having difficulty hiding. Yeah, don't do it. Tinder girl or using Facebook because it pulls. Yeah, exactly. You do it from your Facebook. But also be aware, you can't change it and say, oh, if I don't like it, I'll change it again. Look, <laughs> if you change it, you have to wait six months or something just like that to change it again so you are stuck for a long time with no dates uh, the age thing depresses me the ooh, ooh, ooh. my number went up three times while I was dating listen I started I did online dating but I didn't take it seriously and um, I wasn't like looking for a serious boyfriend or anything. I was just very lonely. I moved out of London for a while and I just wanted to meet people. You know, I, I wasn't, I was hoping not to find a boyfriend because I was like, oh my God, I don't want to meet anyone here. You know, like that I want to stay together with because I don't want to leave here. But I wanted to meet people just because I had no friends, no nothing. I moved to a, a village up in Hertfordshire with a lot of my girlfriends and then three days later they were all in relationships and I was left to my own. I was the only, you know, girl. I had to come to London all the time going out. It was really tiring and very expensive. I always have to come to London and I end up sleeping on people's sofas. It's just, it was just exhausting. So I thought, let me do online dating just to meet people and stuff so I can actually have a social life in my town. So that I was 30 something back then. Um, so I went on a few days, I went on a date to Pizza Hut, can you believe it? And we met, <laughs> there was, <laughs> I met, we met in Tesco's car park, which is like at the big, big, big supermarket. 
And then, this is how stupid I was, I, I got into his car. So we parked my car, and I got into his car, and he drove me to Pizza Hut. Like, the worst. The worst. <laughs> oh, and then, this is really funny. And then, uh, uh, he wanted to see me again, but on the phone, well, he at the same time he's asking me out, but he's saying I want to run something by you because I want to be honest. Full disclosure: I am still married. <laughs> I'm still married, but um, and I live with my wife. But uh, because my office is in my house, and I don't want to give up my children, so he still lives with the wife in the family home. And his office is in the garage or in the shed or something like at the end of the garden. So it was, he couldn't like break up with this. Like he said that he's broken up with the wife, but they still live together because A, the office, the job, and B, the children. And I was just laughing. I remember I was in my job car park having this phone call. And I really remember thinking, this guy actually is trying to sell me this. Like he thinks that this is going to work. I might not have been a rules girl back then, but I wasn't that um, retarded. My God. Like, he was really trying to sell that to me. I don't mind sure they're the same height guys as me, as they are masculine alpha type. Yeah, I, I, can, I, can out, uh, I go out with all sorts now. I don't, you know, like big guys, strong guys, skinny guys. You know, I just want them to be masculine and I want them to have a nice, you know, I want to enjoy their company, you know, because we're going to grow old together and that looks are not forever. And uh, you just want someone that you enjoy their company and someone that you're going to feel looked after, you know, you, someone that is going to look after you and be nice to you when you're old and have no teeth and you can't move. Someone that holds your hand while going down the stairs and all that and makes you a cup of tea. You know, someone to grow up, uh, grow old with. Somebody that you want to hang out with. Uh, I have seen the goal now. The matches that are in my inbox are men who already swipe me. If they swipe you, after they swipe you, they must message you. So if they send you a message, you can reply. Wait 24 hours and then you can reply. Michelle says, say, I work in the industry. Okay, so yeah. So when you are talking about work, you're going to say, <clears throat> like, for example, I'm a dating coach. So, like, you don't want to give it all away. So I say I'm a life coach on my Tinder. Okay. I'm actually thinking about changing it to consultant, just in case. I'm going to give it a go. I think next week I'm going to change it to consultant. Lee, what do you think? Shall I change my thing to consultant and see what, how it goes? What do you think? Guys, tell me what you think. Uh, Maria, when I mentioned that I'm Brazilian living in the Netherlands on my profile, I feel like guys think I'm a legal immigrant looking for marriage. No. Right, so what happens is the wrong guy is going to think the wrong thing about you. But the right guy doesn't care. Like the right guy won't even care that you are illegal. He'll be like, fine, I'll marry you. He won't care because he's the right guy. So there is nothing that you can say that will put off the wrong, the right guy, okay? Unless you're like horrible. <laughs> so, but you know, look why. So if the right guy will like, even like, sometimes I think I should just like not lose the way because the right guy will like me even though even though it's taking me longer to find the guy, the right guy will like me just as I am. And then if I lose weight, it's the bonus. And then when I get fatter because I'm pregnant and I, you know, 
is he won't care. And then when, when when I when I have a child or whatever, and then it takes me forever to lose the weight, he won't be bothered because he already liked me like I am. So you know, it's just such a guys. It's if you if, if you just get into the cool mindset, okay. Only a guy that's super like you, just as you are, will be the right guy. You don't need to do anything to change yourself, okay? He will like your hair. He will like how tall you are. He will like your big ass. He will like your small boobies. He will like all the bits you hate about yourself. He loves about you, okay? If, if you have wrinkles that you're going on about, he will love all of you. So... There is no, um, there is nothing you can do. There is very little you can do to spook the right guy. So if the, the wrong guy is going to say, oh, I'm an um, illegal guy, uh, uh, illegal looking for marriage, he'll be like, yeah, cool. <laughs> that'll be, you know, that'll be so cool. And um, yeah, it's just, there'll be, like for example, um, like, uh, right, I'm freaked out about guys thinking about that I'm a coach, but like India Khan guy found, found her blogs online and uh, he was like, he didn't care. He just didn't care because there's nothing that she could have done to spook him because he was the one. And he will let you know that you are his one. And there's very little you can do to spook him. Um, even if you have like a six toe, <laughs> something really weird, he won't care. He won't care. Uh, Tara. Yes, Tara is replying to Tara. This is funny. Yes, once you both match on each other, oh, you guys talking about Tinder. Hi, Chantel. Oh my God, I am getting different men. Are you, are you watching my video or are you swiping on Tinder? <laughs> you guys are multitasking. <laughs> oh my God, I'm getting different men on Tinder app and on my phone. And the one on my computer, I am so confused. Just stick to one, sweetie. Don't need to do it all. Just stick to your phone. Phone is the easiest. Chantel says, I am located in South Carolina and it's hardly any quality men here. I am so tempted to look in other areas. Don't. I am sure there is plenty of, of, plenty of lovely men in South Carolina. But South Carolina is like the South. Is it the South? Is it, guys? I might have to pull up an American map now. But it's like Southern men, aren't they like super old-fashioned and traditional and gentlemanly and chivalrous and all that? Or is it because I'm thinking, just because it's South Carolina, I'm thinking it's in the South. Let me know. But I am sure wherever you are, there's going to be bad quality guys and good quality guys. Just... Um, ignore the bad quality guys, you know, just stick to the ones that look okay, they look like they got good jobs, nicely dressed, you know, stay away from the ones that you don't like. Also, I like to go on dates with the guys with uh, very bad pictures <laughs> because Okay, think about it. Who spends hours taking selfies, right? Us girls, we take hours doing selfies. Do you imagine your husband taking an hour doing selfies? No. Why? Because he's going to be really masculine. And what do masculine men hate? Taking selfies. So the masculine guy is going to go like, that's it. And load it up on Tinder and go on the hunt. He doesn't give a shit about his picture at all. So if you guys go dating guys with really good pictures, 
know this. He might be very high quality, but he is feminine AF. Super, super feminine. Because how long does it take to get a good selfie? You know, nobody is so magically photogenic that they get it good at the first time. And you know what? My system works. Guys with really bad pictures actually are really handsome and are super masculine and take me to amazing dates. I went on the last day, I went out with a guy that it was like, it was like a blob. I was like, bring it on, let's see. If he comes all the way here, I'll date him. And he came all the way here and he had an amazing car. And he looked really good. He was a bit older, but he looked amazing. He had an amazing job, and he treated me really nice. He took me, uh, we, we, dated, we went on five dates. He took me to amazing restaurants. And he opened the car door for me, and I was like, oh, so nice. And then he was, um, oh, no autistic, the other thing. He had asperger's, and then he told me a story that it was not very nice. I just couldn't go see him again. I was completely put off by it. And now I regret it. You know, Amy Schumer, he's, she's, her husband is called asperger's. I'm thinking now, maybe I should have given him another chance. But I was completely put off by the story. I won't tell you the story because it's just that it was so easy. not nice. Not nice at all. Amber says, okay, so when I get my Tinder gold matches, do I have to swipe on them in order for them to contact me? So you don't swipe. When you are on Tinder gold, you don't swipe from the deck. You swipe from the, from the messages bit. There will be the thingy for the gold members. I don't remember how it looks now. Can somebody take a screenshot and show Amber where she has to go? And then from there, that's all the men that liked you. And then you swipe yes or no on those only, the ones that swiped you already. Chantel says, uh, you still have the option to swipe, even when you have Tinder Gold. Yes, but you don't swipe. You you swipe not from the deck. You swipe from the ones that already liked you. Penny Love, you're amazing. <laughs> I'm not swiping, yet. <laughs> not swiping. <laughs> not swiping while I'm alive. <laughs> Ah, Chantel is in the south, right? So, south men are very chivalrous. Southern men are very chivalrous, very masculine, and in the south there is a lot of money. So, Chantel, you must be doing something very, very wrong. You should, you should get on a call with me, okay? And let's discuss this, okay? Let me know what you think about that. We should get on a call. You must be doing something really wrong. Like, you know, somebody was saying today, oh, the rulersly men. There's no such a thing as rulersly men. Okay. But in the South, men are rulersly in the, in, the, in the sense of they actually very chivalrous. They are very masculine. They're very gentlemanly. They're, you know, they do things right. So if you, if they're not doing it for you, that means that you are not being very feminine yourself, maybe. You scaring guys. So yes, you have to, to attract. So if you think about like attracts like, positive attracts positive. There is also something called the law of polarity. And the law of pluralities, you know, is the, the law of yin and yang, okay? Where things just mesh like this. So masculine and feminine is, there are 
part of the law of polarity. So in order for you to attract a very masculine man, you have to become your most feminine self, okay? So you have to take a really good picture, really, really, really good look at yourself and see what masculine um, things you are doing, what masculine things are you putting out there, how you are handling yourself, how you carrying yourself, how you're dressing yourself, how you're talking and everything. I know I talk very masculine and I swear like a sailor, but you know, on dates I keep it down. <laughs> He'll discover later when I already got to. But um, yes, so you have to, um, you have to um, work on your femininity and um, get that activated as soon as possible. And the more feminine you are, the more masculine men you will attract, okay? And uh, if, you, if, if, you, if you say, oh, there's no good guys out there, well, are you being your best self? Are you being, are you a good girl? Are you a high value woman yourself? Are you doing everything in your power to be who you want to be, you know? Would you date yourself and then work on that? Gosh, when I started dating, I was such a good sensor. I thought I was great. But then I learned, my, this is something that my coach taught me, awareness. I was not aware at all of myself. I didn't have any self-awareness either. And um, she taught me this. So I started to watch myself and I started to look out for people's reactions. So when I laugh loud or when I, you know, used to get, I'm so loud. I was, and, and I thought that it was so charming of me to be loud because it was fine because I was Spanish. And it's not, you know, it's so chaff. It's rude and especially in England, everyone is so quiet. I stand out, but I don't stand out in the right way. I was standing out on the, on the wrong way. So you have to take a very good look at yourself. I'm not saying you're lovely, you know, I like, I always found that I was charming, but you know, you have to turn it down. And also there's a time and a place for being yourself as well. And maybe the first date, <laughs> you start, you don't have to be yourself on a date, you be yourself, but you don't have to be all of yourself all at once, you know? You can be your step one self. And then as you get to know him, you allow him to um, see and get to know another part of yourself. So it's like an onion and we are full of layers. You don't show him the heart of the oh, onion. Oh, come on, Penny. You can't do better What's something else that's got layers that is not an onion? I can't think of anything. <laughs> if we have an onion, that's a horrible word. You're not going to show him the heart of the onion right the middle of Juicy Beat Center on the first date. You show him the first layer. And then if he gets to stage two or date one, then you show him a second layer and another layer. And there is a lot, lots, lots, lots of layers. This juicy, juicy center, you only want to show it to your husband. Okay, so it's not that you're lying, you are being somebody that you are not, it's that you don't have to be all of yourself all at once in cram it in there in two hours, you know. You have to allow him to get to know you slowly if he earns the right to get to know you slowly. If he's asking you for dates, then he gets to stage two you know layer number two layer number three let make it earn it that's you know nice way to get to know someone isn't it you don't need to know everything on the first date about him you know you can get to know him in two or three dates you don't need to get to all the down and gritty and all the deal breakers on date one like so stressful just enjoy focus on enjoying the date and all the bits will be revealed you can have a, a checklist at home 
like write it down on a piece of paper where are my bits do you know so where are my bits <laughs> Where are my deal breakers, right? So I went into be this, 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 and this, right? So this is what I want. This is that. Write down what you want first. Then what he must be to be right for you. Then write what your deal breakers are. And then enjoy the dating. And the deal breakers will come out when they come. And the good stuff will come out when, when it comes out. And uh, maybe he's even better than your list. You know, because we can do better than we give ourselves credit for. So he might be even more amazing than you ever imagine. Like that, I was talking to this girl not long ago, and she said, "Well, I want him to be, I, I want him to be um, this." And well, some of you are closing yourself off because you know you want him to be this. Uh, but what if you know he's the next? Um, Prime Minister, or he, you know, what if he's, you know, you, you are closing yourself off. He could be even better. You don't know what you can do or you can meet if you allow yourself to get there. So don't be very militant about what you want, because what you want might not be even that great. You can do better. Recently, I met a guy with a glass eye and he freaked me out, but he was very nice. <laughs> Beverly, I went out with a dwarf <laughs> and I gave him like, so his two full hours and he was a great date. <laughs> he was very smart, but he was a dwarf. He tricked me. He put, I think I might have told you this already, guys. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. I don't know who I'm telling you about anymore. But uh, I went on a date with a dwarf, but he was some plenty of fish, and he had a picture on the cockpit of a plane because his hobby was flying planes. So I think I was too distracted by all the switches on the cockpit of the plane. I didn't see his little legs. And uh, right, so imagine. Right, so he's in the cockpit and somebody's taking the picture from behind and he was like this, right? So you couldn't like see the extent of his legs, but after the date when I went home and I took a proper look, you could he was not hiding anything. He was not hiding anything, like you could see his little legs there. <sighs> but I was just so blinded by the fact that he was on a plane. See how superficial we are. We want to come across that we are so, you know, that we are so superficial. Who am I? Who are we kidding? Who are we kidding? But you know what? He was a great date, and he treated me really, really nicely. And uh, he gave me a lot of tips that I didn't know. He taught me a good, a new route to drive to the airport. He, he uh, this was just before I went to Miami. And he asked me, so where are your traveling plans? And I was, I said, well, I just bought my ticket to Miami. And, uh, and so he taught, he had his family had a house in Miami, not in Miami, somewhere in Florida, but near Miami. And, um, and he gave me lots of tips for my trip. So it was a very good date. Uh, Chantel says, it was downtown here where a lot of quality men are likely to be. I have been planning to go there and explore, see, oh, where, Chantel? I'm missing something of the conversation. What's with men that don't have the face? Oh, right, so what, well, I missed this bit. Unphotogenic guys are my favorite. Yes, they are really good. It's not because they are unphotogenic, it's just because they can't be bothered to be, you know, half an hour with the messing up with the selfie. Also, I don't know, like if masculine men, they always go, Oh, please don't take my picture. This is not a masculine thing. You know, they don't like to. And they don't like to think themselves as um, good looking. They want to be strong. They want to be muscly. They want to be beastly. 
they want to be masculine men. They don't want to be beautiful. They don't want to be good looking. They, you know, it's just a different kind of mindset that my that guys have. Okay, so here we go. Michelle says, two Chantels go to the nice part of town. All gusset up to attract men. Yeah, go to the nice places. Go to the nice and um, just go have coffee there. Or just go out wonder about the shops and get all dressed up and have a date with yourself. And uh, take yourself out to dinner to you know to your favorite places in the nice part of town you can't go you know um dating and date cedars to the nice part of town but you can go take yourself out on a date to those places and also if you have happened you know you'll be coming across with all the guys that live on the on that part of town and with tinder too you'll match with those guys and then it is, but the thing is that if you if you change your geography, guys will say, "So when are you coming back?" And then it's all going down the toilet, all the effort. So, but yeah, here Beverly says, except recently I met a guy with a glass. Oh yeah, we read this already. I read this already. I can't wait to work with you. Yes, let's get in a call, sweetie. I think, I think I can do. I can help you. Uh, Amber says I don't have any likes. I found a like section, but I will have likes. It's so your likes are all lined up like this across the top. And the Tinder goal, guys, is the first bubble of the across the top bit. This hair is driving me mad. Go away. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the, the first bubble is going to be the guys that already liked you. Have a look at those. A husband son diagram. All things you are looking What, Michelle? A husband son, a husband son diagram of all things you're looking. Michelle, what are you talking about? I'm really behind on the comments, guys, because I've been waffling. Okay, I'm gonna catch up. I was reading your engagement story this morning, and I saw you mentioned a husband. Oh, okay. I saw and um, I saw you mentioned a husband diagram. Could you please show us an example when you get a chance? Yeah, what is that diagram? Do you mean like a list of things that you want in your husband? Is that what you mean, uh, Michelle? I will give me a chance. Michelle, also let us know, do you have a wedding date yet? When is your wedding? I want to know. Susie, what? If your area hasn't got nice restaurants you don't have to have nice restaurants so if you're going out on a date with yourself take yourself to the nice area where the nice restaurants are when the if you live in an area with the not nice restaurants you don't have to have nice restaurants to go dating um all you need is a coffee shop a bar you know, any public place, you know, that is not Burger King or McDonald's. Or what's that in the American thing? Taco, Taco Bell. So, and you can, you can either walk 10 minutes to your, to the place of your date, or you can drive 10 minutes. So it might not be something, it might not be something in your immediate area, but you can drive yourself 10 minutes out to where the nice places are, or it doesn't have to be nice, as long as there's like places where, you know, it doesn't have to be at market or anything. You just want, want it to be close to you, so he needs to do all the work and to be public so that it's safe. 
and you know that there is some sort of refreshment there so like coffee or drinks or food or something that you can have a date over so he spends money on you as well <laughs> at least at least two dollars on my coffee um Penny, you crack me up. I almost choked on my water during the plane story. <laughs> yes, there, you know, I've been dating for so long. I've <laughs> got so many stories. <laughs> you know, and uh, my God, I used to be, I used to get so upset when things like this happened. But at some point since I became a rules before I became a coach. So at some point between being uh, becoming a rules girl where I used to get offended by everything. I used to, when, when I first read the rules, I was like, what? You know, how dare you? I am a rules girl. <laughs> I used to have this attitude, you know, like, whoa, I am I'm, I'm mighty, you know. And uh, I used to go dating with this attitude. Like, of course, you're going to scare guys like that. So, you know, only with a lot of practice. This, this is how to practice. And, uh, but practice like actually going on dates. And um, you are going to make mistakes at the beginning. And, um, and that's great because from your mistakes, you will learn. And uh, go out on duty dates because you actually want to make the mistakes with the guys that you don't like so if you fuck up who cares you're not gonna see him again you don't even like him so it doesn't really matter the more you date the more you practice and you're not gonna find guys that you super 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 like at the beginning so due to date go out with the blurry guys and go out with guys that you wouldn't date normally go 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 out with the guys that look a bit dodgy even well not like out there dodgy but you know like something like that if you like um this kind so go go out with the other kind that you don't like as well go out with everyone and um practice dating and practice making mis making mistakes and practice like for example the rule says don't talk too much practice talking too much and see what happens see if you get a call back you always know when you've done it right when you get a call back so practice see if you get a call back even if you don't like the guy even if the guy doesn't like you you know and then practice with a guy that you absolutely don't like being quiet yeah i can assure you you will get a call back and this is how i discovered that not talk because you guys you can see how much i talk i i talk for england i can't stop myself but and i i used to say oh well he has to like me for myself and you know and, and i talk and i don't wanna if i don't talk then uh, he's not gonna know that i i am i talk a lot and then when he gets to know me then he's gonna hate me and, and i used to mm. and india used to just say to me shut up <laughs> <laughs> just shut up <laughs> so and i used to always be like mm -hmm, this woman doesn't get me mm -hmm. and then one day i went on a date with this guy okay so he had a necklace right like he had like a gold chain okay so <laughs> right and uh guys Literally, like your comments are getting pinned. Can you guys pin comments? How cool is that? You distracted me anyway. But so I was like, I, I wanted to run away from this place. So I thought, it's taking me, and there was a lot of traffic. I was like, give it another half an hour for the traffic to calm down. And we actually both late to the date because there was so much traffic. And I, and I thought, okay, give it another half an hour and then I'll go home, I'll drink my wine. He took me to this really horrible bar. That it was my fault because also I was listening to India and India used to always say to me, no, um, do not give options. You know, so, you know, in the rules forums, everyone says you can give three options. So I used to say, but I can give three options. And India used to say, but don't. 
You don't need to. And it's so true. Don't. So I gave this guy three options. We ended up in this horrible bar. I've never been to, but I thought it was a good option. It was really horrible. And the wine was really horrible. I couldn't sleep it because it was cheap and nasty and horrible. And she sat there with this guy. It was so horrible. I didn't want to talk. So I just sat there and I was so quiet. This guy was talking for England. And it made me realize none of my dates ever talked to me so much in my life ever before. Why? Because I didn't let guys get a word in. Because I was just being on dates, right? Me plus the nervousness, right? And plus I, I was such a pick me and I wanted the guy to like me. So you're basically using all your masculine energy selling yourself trying to make the guy like you doing everything wrong so the guy just had to sit there and you know be entertained until they finished the drink never got a call back but this guy was like talking for england he revealed himself to the he spilled his guts on this date like uh, i won't go into detail but it was like all the all the horrible things he just he just didn't care he's just like because i was so quiet he was nervous so he was just stealing it and uh he, he had no choice but to talk because i refused to talk because i was just like looking at my watch trying to pretend that i sip my wine <laughs> and, and i was just like trying to like sit comfortably because the pub was so busy and we're sitting in this really uncomfortable seats as well and uh this guy and and then there was a point that i started to feel very confident because i was like oh, the power of shutting myself up ladies and gentlemen and i became really confident during this date and i, I realized that what my coach was telling me was the truth you know that uh, the, the the more you shut up the more he's gonna talk so now we are reversing the roles he was being me and i was being all the guns that i was dating in the past and uh but it only it took this really horrible date for me to find out so go dating guys that you don't like and practice and do the, the mistakes and um and like practice okay so i am not going to do this on the rules see what happens and then so if you, if you need conf confirmation so so be it just do it you know always be safe and um do it with the guys that you don't like it's, it's, it's great practice then when you meet the guys that you like then you'll be prepared you know what works you know what doesn't work practice makes perfect I've never been a big talker. Oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> you're so lucky. You'll do great on dates. Uh, Michelle, all you guys. Right, so Beverly, how are you doing this? I was reading your engagement story this morning. I saw this earlier and think, am I, is it me that I'm pinning and pinned? I'm pinned. You are unpinned. I am all caught up now with the uh, comments. In two seconds, they'll be like, they will come in waves, the comments. So yeah, the, your your profile, um, let's go back to the, well, there's no comments. <laughs> let's go back to the profiles. Your, your online profile can really make or break your wowness, you know, you want to, give you want to put your first best foot forward out there so just focus on the positive highlight the positive highlight the things you love highlight uh the your when you talk about your hobbies make sure that they are feminine hobbies okay so don't write so like if you like running don't say i run marathons just say i love jogging or the gym is good yoga is very feminine so you love yoga. Uh, Amber says, so this is where a site if it's like this. Um, 
remember, I, I can't, if you are taking screenshots, I can't see. Maybe I'll see them afterwards, but I can't see any screenshots. It's just text on here on my little window. So, show me later. Or inbox me or something, and, and I'll let you know. So, yes, just highlight the, let me go back to my list highlight the positives your hobbies make sure that they make sure they are a feminine hobbies so yoga is, is like sport wise don't say i play football uh i run marathons it, nothing competitive nothing about competitiveness so like going to the gym i like working out i like doing yoga you know things that is just like taking care of your body not like for the sake of the competition on this of the sport and even if you do which is fine if you love if you are a very competitive person and you play sports for competition just keep it to yourself he will learn this uh, part of yourself as he peels off the layers as you're dating in the dating process you know he needs to earn that don't tell him because it's just gonna stress him out and it's just it's just really stressful for guys having to compete with the girl because sometimes we do stuff better than them all the time so it's just really stressful for them mm -hmm. hi Anna so hiking would not be very ladylike camping yes no and also if you like hiking because I don't know what it is in America that everybody likes hiking. All these girls I see, they're like getting hiking dates. It's like, no, you know, if there's sweat involved, it's not a date. So, and don't, yes, yeah, so don't say that you like hiking. Even if you love hiking, you will go hiking with your husband. If that's what you love doing, but do not mention it on your profile or date zero or date one two and three keep that for layer six seven eight or after you become um exclusive or wait to see um maybe he likes hiking and he mentions it and he he goes like oh i love hiking do you hike so you know further down the line you can say sure i love hiking too and you know but you don't need to tell them on they see them and uh what else your job don't you don't have to tell him what you do exactly or where you work and um <clears throat> yes yeah, so like for example you are in um real estate so you can you can say i work in real estate Super general, you're not giving much away. You don't have to say if you are the photocopy girl, he wouldn't know. If you are the owner of the company, just the saying, I'm in real estate, he will he will never know. So just be very general, or like I work in the marketing, I mean marketing, or I am in advertising. And uh, I think Liana's gone to bed. I need to chat. I need to text her about this idea that I had of me becoming a consultant on Tinder. Guys, what do you think? Do you think this sounds good? I'm a consultant instead of a life coach. Give me your opinions, please. I want to know. Maybe silly. I don't know. Hiking is out of the question. Yes. And uh, what other things? I saw hearts, but I didn't see who was doing the hearts. Camille, you like it? You like my idea of becoming a consultant? Um, buy things that you love, like uh, the, the foods you love. If you like a uh, chocolate, you love chocolate. Put it on your profile. You love chocolate, and uh, if you, I love red wine. So I put it on my profile, I love red wine. I want a guy that likes red wine. So I can drink wine, you know, with my husband on Friday nights, you know, down the pub. And so that he takes me to nice wine places. 
it doesn't say anything cheapo <laughs> places and um so you know if there's something that you love and you love doing you like doing thank you camille thanks darling uh mention it you know say that you i love red wine or i love pasta i love italian food i love tacos i love whatever it is don't say it tacos because they need to take you to taco bell <laughs> Don't say tacos. Um, but yes, <laughs> don't say tacos. You'll end up on Taco Bell. And um, keep it short, as short as possible. Don't go all over the place on your profile. And keep it sweet and light and breezy. And what was the other thing? Also. Say what you want. What is it that you're looking for? So you can actually be very cheeky and say, so like you want a tall guy? You can say, um, looking for a tall and um, successful guy. And um, Tara, you think it sounds masculine? Oh, thank you, honey. You might, you might be right, yes. Sounds masculine, yes. You're right. Yes. Lots of guys have consulted. Consultant could be anything. Then he's going to ask me, what do you do, isn't it? Yeah. Tara, I think you're right, honey. Hi, Daphne. Uh, can I say I love champagne or whiskey? Champagne, yes. Whiskey? <clears throat> Where are you, Camille, again? It's like whiskey, the drink of your country. Like, for example, like the Russians they like vodka. So then it, I guess it's okay that you love vodka. But if I say I love vodka <laughs> in London, <laughs> they're probably like, I like it a bit too much. <laughs> And then I like it because it's a hard drink, whiskey. It's a very hard drink. And I don't know, like, um, it's very masculine drink. Beer. Beer, guys, be careful. Tara and I had hours and hours talking about beer because we love beer, Tara and I. And I'm from Spain, so we drink beer because it's so hot. So we just drink lots of beer because it's nice and cold. And uh, it's absolutely, absolutely fine for uh, in Spain to drink beer. It's not a masculine thing. And also because in Spain we drink beer in small glasses. In England it's all about the pint. So when I came here I was drinking pints and it's so masculine. I never realized, you know, that that was really masculine and it really off-putting to men because, <laughs> you know, I was drinking them under the table. <laughs> you don't want to be drinking men under the table, especially on dates. So be careful what you drink on dates. And I learned this from John Gray. And uh, it's, uh, for example, if your date orders chicken as a meal at the restaurant, don't order steak. So like, don't want up him on the menu because then he will feel emasculated and he won't even know about it. This is not a conscious emasculation. He will feel like shit and he doesn't know why because, you know, <laughs> he won't know that the steak is actually <laughs> destroying all his manhood. So be careful. So if you go on a date and the guy is drinking a nice little Miller Light, and you are there whiskey, you are super one up in him in the masculine department. So he's gonna feel like shit. So be careful, guys. Tone it down when you go on, de on dates. So drink things that come in pretty glasses, like have a glass of prosecco, glass of champagne. Um, have a nice pretty pink cocktail, something fruity, 
or um, I have a glass of wine, a nice glass of white wine or red wine. Or um, gin and tonics, the queen of England loves gin and tonics. If it's okay for the queen, it's okay for us, right? So you can drink uh, gin and tonics. I'm, I've just recently got into gin and tonics. Uh, I'm looking for a nice gentleman. You can say, I'm looking for a nice, you can say, don't just say a nice gentleman. Say something that you really like about guys that when the right guy sees it, he'll go, yes, that's me. And he will be like, oh, I'm going to email her because I am it. This is, I am what he's looking for. So if you want a tall guy, so you can say, I'm looking for a nice tall gentleman. So a nice tall gentleman will see this and will go like, oh, that's me. I'm going to email her. And he will actually email you and say, I'm, the, I'm, I'm, your, I'm, a, I'm the nice tall gentleman you're looking for. Your search is over. This is it. So he, they normally do stuff like that. Like, yeah, if you, you want to be successful, you can say, "I'm looking for a nice, successful guy, nice, nice, successful gentleman." So use what is it that you are that he's actually got to have to make you click. Use it and put it on your profile. Okay. So you like champagne more, so put it in your profile. I just love champagne. I love enjoying, I love champagne with a gentleman. It's a little bit too, too trying too hard, Daphne. <laughs> I think uh, because your gentleman might like to drink beer. Nice butch guys, masculine guys in England, they love pine, don't they? So don't do that. Don't try to make him be just you enjoy champagne. That's it. It's all about you. It's your profile. And what you is about what you want. So if you want oh, so Daphne, you can do this. I've done this as well. Uh if you can say, uh looking for a nice, successful gentleman. Um if you uh, bonus points if you like champagne, right? Although I just think champagne is very feminine, so you could just leave the champagne out. But it's a nice thing that you can say. It's actually on the on the rules thing. You can say bonus points if you have a mustache. Bonus points if you have a beard. We talked about beer quite a bit because I was so angry that I could not drink beer on dates. Tara, do you know that I've given up drinking beer altogether? I just I have another beer in years. And now I drink Prosecco and gin and tonics on dates. Champagne, yes. And the glass is feminine as well. He might love champagne. He won't tell you about it. It's not something that he's gonna come out and say. You love champagne, rosé, yes, a nice glass of rosé, pink wine, yeah, <laughs> pink wine. If anyone wants wine help with pairing with food, I'm happy. A hey, Tara, she's a professional. Yes, and uh, oh, you can like look at the cocktail menu. And uh, although we are looking after ourselves, no sugar drinks, girls. But uh, look at the cocktail menu. Anything with an umbrella or a nice little pineapple or strawberry perch on the edge of the glass, it's great. And anything that comes in a nice little glass is bonus points for you because it will just make you look more feminine if you are holding a nice glass than if you're holding a big pint of beer. You know, you want to... Um, you want to look your best and you're gonna look great holding a nice delicate you know with something with a long stem or something like that okay girls so I think we're going to wrap oh my god oh my god it's two hours girls it's one minute 59 how did this happen no no this cannot happen again I am gonna get myself an alarm 
I'm gonna put an oven timer on like I do with the guys on the telephone. Guys, it's two hours, this cannot happen. I love talking to you, I just love it too much. But this is just like, I don't want to be, oh, I don't want you guys to get bored of me. Like it's like it's such a task to watch these videos. I want them to not be this long, guys. It's gonna, you know, whoever watches the replay is gonna take a whole week to, and I, you know, I must <laughs> personally hate long videos because who's got the time? Nobody's got the time for this, but um, yeah, Sunny. You joined, you just joined. <laughs> you, Sunny, you are two hours late. <laughs> We're wrapping up in here. Okay, girls. Okay, stop it, stop it. No more questions, no more comments. It's too much fun. It's fun, I'm enjoying myself. I hope you guys enjoy yourselves too. And I hope all that um, we discussed here is of, um, of use to you in the future and uh, I hope you guys are learning and um, yes should we say about the number of children and their age no do not discuss children on your profile the pro your online profile it's you it's for you your yourself only you don't need to mention members of your family or extended family okay because the right guy even though he's not looking for he, the guys don't think so far ahead you know i want a guy i want a woman with children already or not with children you know the, this is not something that they're already have it like us reading on a piece of paper i want this and this and this you know he's just looking for a woman that looks beautiful and is his type and she's easy to be with and that he can be himself with a woman that looks up to him and respects him he is not he doesn't have a long list of requirements so if you have children or not if he's a very masculine man he will not give a crap really so only if he's broke, he probably would be like, well, no kids, and I'm not feeling other guys' kids, you know. But if he's broke or if he's very feminine, which he's, a, you know, that's not what you're looking for either. So that's fine. So don't make a big thing about single moms. Don't make a big thing out of it. You don't need to fly the flag, you know, single mom here, because everybody knows single moms are vulnerable. And men, will take advantage of you and then will say the right things that you want to hear do you want to do like that video that i posted from grace anatomy and don't even mention it at all until he brings it up then when he brings it up listen to what he's saying the way he's saying it like he said to her oh gosh single moms are so desperate and i just hate single moms because of da -da 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 -da. So that's, that's all she needed to know. Then she says, I have three children. And then he goes, oh, I said the one thing, didn't I? And um, so he's trying to backtrack. That is too late now. He now wants to backtrack and say the things that she wants to hear, right? Because he has such an amazing date with her. He's realized he fucked up. But that's so good for you if he fucks up because then you have discovered his true self not the self that he wants to show you the guy is not going to show you who he is on the first day just like that but if you are quiet and you don't give him too much information he doesn't know what he's going to sell to you so just let him crash and you know a date zero is all you need with him. So if you haven't watched it, it's on my group. And uh, it's a little Grace Anatomy video. Go on videos and search for it. And uh, watch the episode if you can. You know, it's, it's from the current season now. I did write what season and what episode and everything. And watch the entire date. They have the most amazing date. She's a little bit unruly. 
but because she's so ruthlessly in all the things, it sort of balances out that she's so unruly. So she sort of balances things out. Like when on Grace Anatomy, when she first sleeps with Derek on the first episode, I think it was, that she sleeps with him. But then she sleeps with him and kicks him out of the apartment and runs to the shower. And she's like, I have a life. You know, it's my first day and the most amazing job ever. You know, so she switched it on and she became a rules girl right there that morning well they're still naked she's switching it on and kicking him out of the apartment is that i don't even care who you are and then when they meet in the hospital and he's a surgeon and she's like the you know little doctor on that on a first date she's like don't talk to me you know don't you flirt with me don't look at me like that i'm here to work and i don't care that you're a big shot surgeon and she played hard to get so with uh, meredith gray actually it sort of balances out that she's torn rulelessly because she's also very rulelessly on the flip side of things so i love this anatomy guys so yes okay we're ending the date love you lots guys have a great week Mwah. bye love you